Okay, um, I'm going to assume that it's recording right now because it doesn't say whether it's recording or not. But hey guys, and as you can see, it's time for another Destiny reading. Um, this is for the new moon coming up and the new moon will be in Gemini. I did go ahead and check that out. Sorry for the background noise, the kids are watching cartoons. But the new moon will be fully in Gemini, June 8th, and the actual fullest, brightest part of the new moon will be standard Easter time about 9 a.m. Um, of the morning of June 8th. So with that, I wanted to do, as always, do a reading for the, for the new moon, um, how to work with that new moon um, in Gemini, and, you know, to help you out on the path and as we go into, you know, the, the phases of the new moon after that. So with that, I do have the same three stones that I used um, in the June reading, but I switched it up and I'm actually, they're actually making their first appearance on camera. These are my black onyx um, rooms and I don't use, I really don't use them a lot. Okay. Actually, I've never used them on camera um, for readings. Um, I normally use them in the background because normally when I pull out these rooms, it's serious. It's about protection. It's about um, your health. It's about a situation where um, you need um, either protection from it or protection around it or something serious is going on. That's normally when I pull out my black onyx stones. And I've been feeling lately that it's getting more serious now as far as um, as far as getting things done and bringing about uh, the life that you want. It's, it's getting into crunch time now. Now it's really time to go up and start digging out and moving everything. And with the new moon coming up in Gemini, that's like perfect time. But wait, I'm going to get into that. Um, first, I do want everybody to remember that I'm still doing a giveaway. That is the feature video on my channel. So if you go to my channel, the feature video is the giveaway. If you want to be a part of the giveaway, just put yes in the comments on that feature video. I'll put a link to that in this video. Um, I know in there I said I'm giving it two weeks, but I actually wasn't paying attention. Silly me. I'm shutting it down on the new moon. So on June 8th, by the afternoon of June 8th, I will have pulled the winner. And so far, we only have... Uh, one or maybe two people who actually put yes to the comments and one of them for right now for the time being i love you physically me but for the time being you play it too much i'm ignoring you <laughs> but if no one else um to keep it fair if no one else uh answers then i will put the two names and draw between the two names actually you know what i'll use my pendulum i'll let the pendulum decide between the two names that are there which one will will win um Go to that. <laughs> Did you hear uh, Grizz in the distance? He laughing. But um, he's like, ha ha. <laughs> he likes when I use my pencil. On. But yeah, go to that video. Find out. Um, we have we had Mesophysically Me donate. That's why I said she plays too so much. <laughs> we had Mesophysically Me donate. Brave Paul donated. He is like the best kept secret when it comes to readings. He does a lot of things behind the scenes, not on camera. And he is excellent at what he does. Um. We also had Glamour that donated, and of course, this is my giveaway, so I donated too. But to find out what's being given away and what's all needed, go to that video. Okay, back to the new moon reading. Um, I'll get to how you can work with the new moon after the cards. As usual, we have the left-hand path, the right-hand path, and then the middle path. And I kept the same stones as last time because, like I said, this left-hand path represents you, your desires, your internal work. And your internal work is all about desires. That's why I have the rose quartz. And the um, rose quartz is all about love. And love, when you break it down, and the etymology of it, it's all about will and desire. And that comes from within. And that's all about the left-hand path. Hint, hint, for those of y'all who don't understand what the left-hand path truly is, it's not devil worshiping. It's just about working on you. It's about you working on you first. And then expanding out. Whereas the right hand path is working on out first and then expanding in. So with that said, we're going to the right hand path, which is amethyst. And right hand path, path is all about, um, you know, your logic. And your logic is how you apply things outwardly. And you have to have true understanding, true clarity to do that. And that's why we have the amethyst. And then the middle path is bringing them both together. So you have the right hand path, which is all about your will's desire, which is highly connected to spirit. Your left-hand path, which is your logic, how you apply things outwardly. And that brings clarity, which is why I did the clear quartz, just because of the name, because you can interchange these two stones. But um, that's why I put the clear quartz out, just because it has the word clear in it. And when you buy them, too, you have total clarity in what you're doing and how to go about life and seeing things in whatever perspective is best for you and 
others around you. So with that, choose your path, left, right, middle, um, and with that, let's go ahead and start. So the first stone we have is AYS. I'm, I'm trying, I'm sorry, I'm doing this from my laptop, so I'm trying to see it as I'm making sure y'all can see it. Um, so the first thing stone we have is AYS. And AYS is really, um, hmm, that's kind of interesting for left hand path, because AYS is, um, it's ruled by Earth. And it's really for um, cooperation. It's also good, though, for um, clearing blockages. Um, it's also good for, um, I'm sorry, cooperation is what's standing out in my head. And I'm trying to fill it to see, because I'm trying, like I said, these, I don't really don't think my black onyx stones likes to be on camera, because I'm trying, it's giving me a hard time getting a full, a full message from it. But I'm getting cooperation, cooperating, Cooperating with spirit. There we go. Okay. Kind of got to force it a little bit. Cooperating with your spirit. Cooperate, and by cooperating with your spirit and with it being ruled by earth, then it's still material. Earth is really your material possessions. Um, you being grounded. So with you being grounded is still with this. Look around you and see what things are outwardly reflecting that which outwardly, see which things that are outwardly reflecting those that which you do not want. If you still have stuff laying around you, around you whether it's people um objects items and it's not and it's not reflecting the life that you want it's time to go inside of you and see while it's still there this is still the left hand pan, it, path and that's where the cooperation that's why i'm here seeing cooperation in my head that's where the cooperation comes in at it's time for you now to go can y'all see this okay it's time for you now to go and look because everything on the outer reflects everything on the inner so it's time for you now to go around you, look around you, and see what your perspective is. See what outside is reflecting back to you that you do not like. And find out, and then go deep within you and find out why it's still there, why you have not cleared that out yet. And deal with that root, the root of that problem. Again, even though we should be on the root chakra, I'm still feeling, you know, still stuff in the root chakra that has not been cleared out yet. And this year isn't the time of play. This year, manifestations come back real quick. And, you know, what you think about, you bring about, and that's the cooperation thing. Look look outward you on you on you and see what's there and look inward on you or inwardly and see why it's still there, why you haven't got rid of it yet, or if you cannot get rid of it, why you have not seen it in a different light yet. Okay. So the next stone, which no, I'm sorry, I want to go to the right hand path. This stone is oh, upside down. This stone is Uru's. And Uru's, did I put, no, I didn't put Uru's this morning. Um Uru's to me. It's all about potential and strength. And it's also ruled by Earth and it's ruled by Taurus. And Taurus also deals with, um, not talking personality traits here, but Taurus really deals with um, what you have. So again, it's saying, and Earth is material possessions. And so again, it's called you to go out and look at what you have that's your strengths. And for you to, oh, this stone's coming clear. And for you to use those strengths um, to help others and to do things for others. To help others and to do things for others and um, those things that don't serve you if it can serve somebody else give it to that person um, this is the right hand path is all about applying and this stone is really calling you to apply that which you have to manifest that which you want and use what's already there and you already have the strength and the potential to use what's art to use the little things that are there that bring you joy that'll help bring joy to others and therefore the joy will come back to you again um, this stone is all about strength and that strength is saying that the strength is there to do it, get it done. So let's go to the middle path. And this is Suelo. Suelo is starting to become one of my favorite stones. But Suelo is all about the sun. It's all about life energy. It's all about renewal. So if you're doing what this path says to do and this path said to do, then you are renewing yourself. You are becoming a new person. You are um, being re-energized. You are having new thought patterns. This is ruled by the air and the sun. And with air, that's all about communication. So new thought patterns are coming in. Sun, that's energy, solar chakra. So that's energy to, to take these new thought patterns and do something with them. And you understand spiritually what it means and logically how to apply it. So that is Suelo. So let's go to the cards. We're going to go to the left-hand path. Ah, the left-hand path is um, the chapter card. And as you see on the chapter card bring it closer um it says chapter one and the end 
And this really means, again, renewal, where one um, path, it says conclusion at the bottom, but when you understand life cycle, there's no such thing as an actual conclusion, where one and another begins. And when you're working with the stone of Awas, um, as you're clearing your blockages and you're looking outside of you and see what's there that shouldn't be there, and um, going in with you to find out what's there, what you're doing is you're closing that chapter, you're bringing... Um, closure to that chapter so that a new chapter which is right here which is chapter one at the top so that new chapter can begin um so let's go to the right hand path to see this card and this card says message so with this card being a message and the stone being urus let me turn the stone back over in fact my last stones all turned over turn all the stern stones over and with this stone being urus basically it's saying that you have the strength to take that message and apply it outwardly, not just for you, but for other people. See the message in your strengths, in the things that's around you, and use that and apply it to your life to better yourself and to better others. So let's go to the middle one and see what this is. This, oh, I love this. This is the High Spirit card. The High Priestess of Spirit. I love, love, love this card. And basically the High Priestess of Spirit is your spirit. If you can see closely... It's four faces at the top. And that represents all the elements. Well, all the elements combined, it creates ether, which is the spirit which is the spirit element. So once you bring these two together, you get closure on your new stuff. And then the logic that you now have, you now apply it. Now, as again, as the stone says, Sowelo, now you're getting closer and closer to your inner spirit where the messages are coming clearer and you're seeing things in a new perspective. You're seeing things spiritually. And when you start to see things spiritually, you understand that you choose the perspective that you want in your life. No one else but you. However you see things, no matter what happened, you choose how you react. You choose how it affects you. You choose how you think about it. And you can pick any perspective that you want. If you want to go with you're angry right now, go with that, but don't stay there. Understand it's just one perspective. And if you need that for closure, you go for that, but then you change your perspective to whatever brings you the most joy. That's what I get out of this card, and that's what I get out of this. Now, in this whole reading, going with the new moon in Gemini, how you will work with that new moon is Gemini is all about your thoughts. Um, especially when it comes to, because you know your moon, the moon is your thoughts and your feelings. Gemini is all about um, how you think. So with the new moon being in Gemini, the new moon to me holds all of creation in it, um, all possibilities in it, while the full moon is whatever possibility, whatever perspective that you're trying to bring out and show to the world. So the new moon holds all possibilities. So what you're doing now is you're clearing out the old, and with this new moon, you're going to have you're going to have thought processes and if you work spells, chants, uh, affirmations, whatever you want to call it, now's the time to start bringing in the thought process. On the new moon, by the new moon, you should have brought in thought process. You start bringing in materials, and you should really start honing down that what it is that you want to manifest and seal the deal on the new moon, whether it's start confirmations. And always start your confirmations positively with I am. Um, don't worry, but then never say I don't. Never say, I will never. Never say, I don't have no more. Just say, I am. Mm -hmm. I am love. I am wealth. I am happiness. Mm -hmm. Start saying it now, new moon after new moon, and say nothing else. Let nothing else come in. Um, if you're starting a new business, now's the time to light a candle with that business card to bring good luck. For those who do other things, you know what other things to do. If you don't know what other things to do, then you can contact me for a spiritual cons cons um, consultation on how to put together either an affirmation, um, a, a spell, or whatever you want to call it, whatever words you're comfortable with, because it's really all the same thing. Um, my, I'll do a con I'm doing a spiritual consultation now, um, special for $10. That will be up on my Etsy shop if you want a spiritual consultation. And this is just for how to do a little ritual on the new moon, for the new moon, to help you bring about that what you want your life to reflect what you, this perspective you want in your life going forth into this year. Um, so with that, that is your reading for the new moon of June, which will, will fully be in Gemini. It will not be in Void of Course. It will be in Gemini, which is beautiful. So beautiful because it, it hold, opens up all possibilities, all thought process, and you can hone it down and whatever thoughts you want in that perspective you have, go with it. And that's pretty much all that is to say for this reading. Um, with that, y'all, stay blessed. Love you. Peace.